Welcome to Inside the Newsroom. I'm Mindy Marquez, the Herald's Managing Editor. Sergio Bustos had a curious hobby as a teenager growing up in Northern Virginia. After school, he'd hop on a train to the Capitol and sit in on committee hearings, pretending to be a member of the Washington Press Corps. He would stay long after the professional reporters had left, then he'd dash home with a full notebook and write a story on his electric typewriter. His deadline? He had to finish his stories in time to report for his real job at a department store. But for a kid growing up in Washington, D.C., the draw of politics was irresistible. It was great political theater, said Bustos, and he grabbed the front seat. It was the early 1980s, in the height of the Ronald Reagan administration, and the issues ranged from the Iran-Contra affair to overhauling Social Security. Bustos is once again at the forefront of one of the most interesting political seasons in Florida's history. Today, as the Herald's political editor, he is directing the paper's political coverage. With a little more than a week before the August 24th primary, many key seats hang in the balance. Races that seem predictable are now hotly contested. Voters will decide the final lineup for the fall races, from the Senate Democratic primary in a tight race between Kendrick Meek and Jeff Green, to the Republican candidate for Florida governor in the late season matchup between Bill McCullum and Rick Scott. For voters who are just starting to catch up, we've created an electronic voter's guide that combines the best of our coverage from deep profiles to videos and blogs, and you can find it today on MiamiHerald.com. As we head into the fall, the political pace will only pick up, and that's just fine for Sergio Bustos, who still enjoys being right in the middle of the story. Last week, on the first day of early voting, he spent two hours at a Pembroke Pines precinct interviewing voters. It's going to be fun, he said. As always, thanks for reading the Miami Herald and spending time here on MiamiHerald.com.